Welcome everybody to my quick distribution preview of uh, Debian SID, also known as Debian Unstable. Now you will notice that um, the uh, top bar here in GNOME 3.4 disappeared. That's actually a bug with uh, GTK Record My Desktop. Um, not a problem with uh, the actual desktop itself. So let's take a look at what applications are available. You get your uh, your usual GNOME accessories. I added a GWG terminal, which uh, is really cool if you want a quick style dropdown. Let's take a look at these others. I won't open all of them. Um, GNU image uh, manipulator is actually 2.8. The cool thing about uh, Debian Unstable is it's a lot like uh, Arch Linux in the way that these applications are brought out uh, sooner. Um, I actually thought that um, all Deb Debian based uh, distributions were um, avoiding uh, GNOME uh, shell. It just turns out that even the ones running Debian Unstable um, are uh, not taking advantage of the new uh, GNOME shell. Now, unstable actually means that there's no security, uh, regular security updates, so you don't want to be running a web server off of it. Now, it is also comes with uh, Ice Weasel, which is the Firefox uh, Mozilla uh, or the Mozilla browser, um, similar to Firefox, uh, just probably with different licensing and. What else we got? It, of course, it comes with a uh, web, also known as um, um, Epiphany. So, give you a sense of how everything looks. Oh, you know, that was a bad idea. Because the LA Times never seems to load very well in um, most of the Linux browsers. Pretty slick looking. Also, I mean, this is not much different than, say, running GNOME uh, shell in Ubuntu, but you will notice there is one major benefit, and that is it will be using a lot less uh, RAM. Despite the fact that I am currently recording right now, it's still only using 413 megabytes of RAM. So if you're looking for a lighter weight alternative and a rolling release distribution, um, totally give it a shot. Um, it does take a little bit of effort to install. I did have a little bit of trouble, and um, but once I got the uh, the Wi-Fi set up uh, um, after checking their their wiki, it was no big deal. Uh, let's see here. Let's take a quick look at the um, backgrounds. Actually, I wanted to show you guys that there are two new backgrounds that come with. Uh, Debian. There's this one here, and an alternate version with some paint splatter right there. And I think both of them look pretty cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching my video, and uh, have a great um, day, evening, uh, weekend, whatever. Thanks.